In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a multiple choice question uh, within Fieldscapes. It's a little bit of a cumbersome process at the moment, but we'll be working to uh, make it a lot simpler and slicker by the time we release the product. But it'll give you an idea of the power and the flexibility of the system. So I'm here at Carding Mill looking over the waterfall. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is set a start location for my exercise. So just go to metadata, set the avatar's current location as the start point. And next I'm going to res a prop and we're just going to use a straightforward question mark box. It's very obvious then that it's something that the student needs to click on uh, in order to access some sort of a quiz, but it could be absolutely any prop uh, within the environment. Next, to define my multiple choice question, so click on multiple choice question in the controls panel, add multiple choice question, give the question a name, so we're going to call it something like water courses. Uh, for my question, what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to sneak across to the GCSE bite size site. Uh, pick up one of their questions that looks a suitable one to use here. In fact, I'm just going to change this so we're going to associate this with the upper course of a river. And you'll be able to define whether or not the student can choose one, two, three, or many choices from the various options given. Uh, at the moment, we're just going to allow one. Now, before we define the answers, what we need to do is define each of the system nodes which the answers are going to route to. Uh, eventually, you'll be able to do that directly off of this screen, but for now, we actually have to go across and do them from the system node menu. So, now I need to create the system nodes that will handle the answers to each of those uh, multiple choice questions. So, click on system node, give it a name, so call this upper course. And then what I want to happen when this particular option is chosen. So display our pop up. And this is going to be correct. Save that. Now the other two answers. One thing you'll notice, we've deliberately sort of not made it easy for you in terms of actually saying, uh, you know, route everything to a, a correct answer and route everything to an incorrect uh, answer. Uh, because we think it's important that you try and give some sort of uh, constructive feedback for each of the options uh, within the multiple choice. So, save these. So here I've got my now a node to handle each of the possible answer types. So I can save and close that. With the system nodes done, I can now go back to my multiple choice question and drop into edit mode. And now I can actually add in uh, the answers. So, for instance, the first one uh, might be Oxbow Lakes and choose a category. This is obviously going to be an incorrect answer. And now, which of the system nodes we want to route it to? Well, this is a middle course feature. So, I'll add that. Uh, next one might be uh, Meanders. Again, incorrect answer. Again, it's a middle course feature. Next one might be deltas. Again, incorrect. And a lower course feature. And finally, waterfalls, one of which is right in front of them. That's a correct answer. And that obviously is an upper course feature. And add that. So once I've created my multiple choice, I then actually need to associate it with a prop so as to make sure it gets triggered. So all I do is double click on my prop here, go to touch because that's the way we're going to activate it, go to add action, and here I've got my variety of, of different targets and multiple choice is one of my target objects, and here I've got the multiple choice quiz that I've created. Click on OK, and make sure that's active at start, and save and close. And that's the multiple choice created. So now I can test the exercise out. So click on test mode, set it build the exercise, and start the exercise. All I've really got is my multiple choice question. So click on the box, and you see here's our question, here's our different options. So if I click on Oxbow Lakes and submit, and it says no, nope, it's a middle course feature, try again, click another one, click on deltas, nope, lower course feature, try again and click on waterfalls, submit and correct 
that's found in the upper course of the river. Uh, what I could do is with the logic, because each of the system nodes is a full uh, node within uh, fieldscapes, then actually that could do all sorts of things. So it could be changing a counter so we can track correct and incorrect uh, answers. It could also loop directly back to the multiple choice question. So rather than the user having to click on the box again, uh, the multiple choice question automatically reappears. So hopefully it's given you an idea about uh, how the multiple choice functionality uh, works within Fieldscapes. As I say, we'll be uh, making it a lot slicker by the time we come to release, but it is a very powerful system uh, because of the fact that every uh, answer to the multiple choice can route to a full system node and can trigger a whole variety of different actions. You don't only need to use uh, the multiple choice for doing things like sort of formative and normative assessment. Uh, you can also use them to uh, let the user choose options within the environment and that might actually move them to different places or show them different things. So it very much becomes part of the interactivity um, as part of the as well as part of the assessment process. Thank you.